it off of me. Good afternoon, Dork. Maui. Ready? <laughs> Why was that so slow? <laughs> what was that noise? <laughs> He has a whole He's smiling at the camera. This is the crest in this ombre color. Got the logo right here. It's very subtle ombre, but it does go um, from a darker. Are you singing? I'm just kidding. Fades up. You know I'm singing. That. Why are you so obsessed with that song? Uh, the white boots, some shorts, the two. Yeah. Blue. Now you can see yourself. Oh my God. <laughs> Perform it, or the that is a gremlin. The <laughs> there, and the back. You want to judge me? You want to judge me for starting a YouTube channel? Well, I will, so I will put you on YouTube looking like this. Oh, there's worse things that have happened to me. <laughs> love this place so much. It's so nice and spacious. Yeah. Where do they live in Houston? Sugarland? Mm -hmm. Right is Sugarland bougie, okay. or is it kind of like Brentwood? It's like a mix. It used to be a shithole, but now I think it's a little bit better. They've just put a lot of money into it. Yeah. Howie, what are you doing, dude? I got money. Are you happy? Uh-oh. <laughs> Why do you hate cameras? <laughs> okay, so the whole reason I wanted to make this video was to explain why I became a personal trainer. So, about, I think it's about six years ago now, that would be five years, I made the switch from CrossFit to bodybuilding. I've been having a bunch of back issues, and just over time it mounted up. I played hockey in college, so obviously, you know, I had some health issues, and, um, well, caught up to me and I needed a change and I'll never forget I went to my apartment gym and at the time it was a small gym it was kind of cool it had like a pickleball court in it it was just very weird for like where I lived I didn't live in the bougiest place and um, I just did kind of like a back day so it was like back biceps cardio and um, I remember that feeling of having a pump and that was kind of it and I remember I went to work that day felt really good felt rejuvenated and what was crazy was like the ability to take my time really helped so even prior to that I'd always been a really lean, skinny kid. Um, freshman year of high school, I weighed 125 pounds. Sophomore year of high school, I weighed 130. I wasn't, I was 5'11", 130 pounds. Wasn't eating right, wasn't doing any of that stuff that you need to do as a teenager to put on weight, play sports. Eventually it clicked. And I'll never forget that, like, that clicking feeling where food started to matter. And I still didn't eat clean by any means. Um, but I ate enough to where I could keep the weight on. And then I went to college and I kept learning and I kept learning and I kept learning at that point. I was still doing CrossFit. So I was learning about food, about diets. Then when I started bodybuilding, I already had that foundation. And I remember loving it so much. And I was working in a gym at the time. And I loved watching people come in the gym and hit their workout, feel really good, and then leave. And I just made a lot of friends, and it just kind of trickled on from there. And that led me to, you know, launch Lone Wolf 
and start lone wolf athletic training and start online coaching and it was a total 180 and for me that was huge that was a big thing and so obviously i don't coach competitors i don't coach people that know what they're doing i want to help people in a lifestyle sense be that best version of themselves while i'm being the best version of me and so that's what's led me down this crazy path and i don't regret a single minute of it i absolutely love coaching and i love being a personal trainer and my why is because i want to help people i want to help people be the healthiest versions of themselves the best versions of themselves and be fucking happy in your body like I struggle with body dysmorphia, so I know what that feels like. And I want to help people not have that feeling. And so being able to be that kind of like beacon of like, I can help you. Let's get there together. Let me not just guide you, but let me be your rock in this journey. That is very difficult and it's not easy and it's not always fun. That's what motivates me every day. That's why I became personal trainer. That, and it's just the ultimate chess match because everybody's so different. What might work for one person doesn't work for somebody else. So when you're coaching and training with me, you're getting one-on-one -on -one training. Every Sunday we have a phone call. You get personalized meal and training plans. It's not some ebook. It's not some cookie cutter thing. And I just love building those connections and meeting new people and then helping them get to their goals and then we keep going we keep going to that new goal and that's what just motivates the hell out of me that's what brought me to be a personal trainer and i love it i absolutely love it